He has a washout. If there's rain, he's going to be unhappy about it. Uh, getting wet makes him miserable. He's a cannibal? What? He's a cannibal. A merciless butcher and devourer of men. He is fortified by human flesh. Well, you're not getting any human flesh here. If we find you eating human flesh, Nicholas. All right, we are back in Going Medieval. We are checking in on the Notley family of Woodhurst as they make it through their first winter. In the last episode, we took this family into the wilderness at the very start of winter on day one of winter with very little to their name, just a day's worth of food. And so far, we've put together this little farmhouse out in the woods. And in the last episode, well, we also finally started brewing booze. The family needs to drink and there is no water in the game. And they are, I think they're all at desperately thirsty by now, right? They probably are desperately thirsty so we're getting that debuff and we're gonna start we're gonna want to start to make some booze and i think in the last episode i also mentioned that it's probably about time to expand into a second floor and start making some stuff so we'll probably do that stuff today all right so we'll dive into that stuff today as soon as they wake up uh we're gonna get kicking on i believe if we have all the stuff we need uh, we might need some more might need some more trees, but we can take care of that in the morning. You know, while they sleep, I'll look for some dead trees. All right, and Wilhelm wakes up at the crack of dawn, starting in on his cush life of chronicling the family's efforts to survive the winter. Uh, hopefully a vet will hop to... I didn't check their jobs before I started. Hopefully a vet will hop to cooking. Oh, she's high on cooking. We took Henrik off of cooking because he started working on booze, and he's terrible at it. Not nearly as good as a vet, and she's uh, passionate about it, so... We want to make sure she's taking care of this. We'll keep this room small for now. Oh, I know what I need to have happen. She's going to get some resources. We have to adjust this. It is way too hot down here. It is currently 60 degrees. That's fine while they're starting to cook and we've got our first brew. Uh, it is fermenting and will be fermented in 12 days because of temperature. Uh, meaning that it is a good temperature to start fermenting. If it was too high or too low, uh, it would pause. Um, I think in this case with the, with the early, uh, fermenting pile, it would, uh, continue to ferment but might turn quickly. Um, but it's a little too hot in here from my experience. It is 60 degrees, we can see up in the corner there. So I am going to, I'm going to build instead, uh, some torches in this room. And then with the torches, I can kind of alternate them on and off. And uh, that should keep us at a good temperature. Uh, I'll throw more than I need to start. Uh, who's on construction? The vet also. All right, we'll let them. We'll let them continue what they're doing. We want that research getting done in the winter. The winter is the best time for someone to be staying inside. I mean, in fact, I'd imagine if I played this long enough and I had a good rhythm going, they'd probably all. Uh, work and farm and hunt all summer so that they could all research and make clothes and armor and weapons all winter. Not too far uh, distant from what you would probably actually do in this situation. Is work through the winter, work through the the warm times to stock up enough so that you could do inside work during the cool times. Alright, Yvette, I really need you um, I need you working on this. I don't need this stuff going sour. Alright, whatever. We'll let them enjoy ent entertainment. It's six in the morning. Time for them all to get together as a family. Where are you? Ooh, Wilhelm, what are you doing? Are you sure you're enjoying entertainment? You look like you might not be. <laughs> there you go. I think you were stuck. Alright. What I am going to do is, uh, get him instead. We'll take Wilhelm instead and ask him to construct these torches, and hopefully he'll do all of them. I know that he will not. He will do one at a time. And here comes Henrik, just running in. Oh, he's hauling. He hauled it to the actual stockpile. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Henrik. All right. Now we certainly have enough going on here that we can shut off most of these. Uh, it is 63 degrees in here, so we're gonna shut off a bunch of these. All right, the ones that are constructed, we will set up the way we would like them set up. And then we will turn off the ones that we don't need. A room like this, I probably don't need more than one or two on. We will try having two on and see what that does. 
40 degrees inside. Eh, we may go three. All right, then we will build two more wall torches so we can alternate these. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave four on, four off. And the reason that I am doing that uh, is because as these burn out and people are busy doing other things, I don't want to risk um, a slowdown in fermentation because the fermentation is really important. Eventually, we'll have enough that it's not going to matter. But in the very beginning, it'd be nice if they had... Uh, if I could get those big, giant, negative six to mood debuffs off of each of them. Um, and the best way we can do that is to make sure that things are constantly fermenting. And then once, once we have a bunch of stuff fermenting, we'll even mark stuff uh, that will be off limits to them so that they... Um, uh, so that we can let that stuff ferment th for the full 30 days. I think I mentioned in the last episode, it takes like, what, three days? There we got two days and 22 hours for this barrel about three days to ferment into rough wine, and then after that, uh, it will turn into, um, I think fine wine or something similar. Uh, but that takes 30 days. So we'll mark some of them, as I said, off limits to the team, to the family. They cannot drink from specific ones. All right, there we go. 47 degrees instead of 60. Heinrich, don't you come cook. You're not allowed to cook. You're just moving. That's good. All right, good. Yvette is getting resources. You know what we might do? Uh, let's mine out uh, a couple more of these. And we'll put some... Uh, maybe we'll put all of the... The red currant in there. Alright, it's, it's way too late. Whoa! Is that really harvestable? Wow. That's crazy. Well, someone will harvest that. Hopefully. Anything else good to harvest? Nah. Alright. I got completely distracted by that. I've never seen something grow in the winter. Interesting. Well, we got two days of winter left. Two full days of winter. Uh, all their clothes are in great shape. I did not expect that. I think I mentioned that in the last episode. I've rolled a couple of these characters just messing around, and invariably someone starts out with like two or three hit points. Oh, uh, and what else are we missing? Are we missing anything? We have no constructions necessary. We don't need to grow or harvest anything. Uh, we don't need to work on any animal husbandry. We'll kick him up on that, though. He can train his animal each day. You get one shot on training your animals, and I think I uh, set just the dog to be trained. And you can attempt to tame animals in the... Eh, we got it. There's a deer out there. Well, you know, let's take that off. He doesn't need to go running around in the wintertime. We'll deal with that in the summertime. But he can try to train his dog every day. I believe that if we get our dog trained, we can assign it to somebody, and then it can start to haul things. And that is huge. That takes a lot of um, of uh, chores off of the backs of these settlers. I love it. It's a ton of fun. I wish that uh, it was a little more difficult in the survival aspect, but it does seem... I think I mentioned this last, ep last episode. It seems like they're... They're kind of equally focused on, on craft, uh, the creativity, and the survival aspect. They're uh, highlighting a lot of what people have built and the things they've done. Wow, there's more stuff to harvest. Surprising. All right, let's get a beam in here. And uh, let's put some shelves here for a vet, if we can. I mean, this this uh, thing being sideways is already ruining everything. I could fit four, or I could fit three, so I'm gonna fit four. We'll follow the shape of the, um... the shape of the shelf there, and we will add to this zone here, and expand it down there. Beautiful. Alright, that is plenty of room for everything. We may even turn this into uh, shelving for red current for now. Because that's plenty of room. What might be nice is, um... We'll have the kid dig out deeper here, too. Um... And once we do that, we might set a spot in here for fine wine to age. Once we have enough of it, we'll be ready for it. Alright. Yeah, I'm digging this game. It's not my usual type of game. I, I wish the survival aspect was a little more difficult, um, but uh, it seems that I think I mentioned that it seems that the developer is kind of equally focused on 
uh, craft and creation as much as the uh, survival uh, aspects of it. They're doing a lot of highlighting of uh, player creations and their towns and their cities and such. Um, but it, overall, still a fun game. Um, I, I have noted, and I think I mentioned this in the last episode, there's very little, at least from my limited experience so far, that really make this a medieval game, so to speak. Um, and certainly as you continue to play, you can make uh, castles, uh, you know, and big medieval fortresses. Um, but for at least for the point that I'm at, I mean, this is as much a... It feels as much a, like, uh, little house on the prairie, like, western pioneer settler experience as much as it uh, might a medieval game. But yeah, it would be nice when uh, mods came out if people started looking into that kind of stuff. I mean, I myself might even be interested in dabbling in that if the mod tools are robust enough. And even if I were... If I continue playing this, if I come back to this enough, it might be fun to take it in a different direction overall. Like, instead of making the typical, um, you know, medieval castle, instead make a, you know, a little western pioneer city settlement, <laughs> a mining town or something. Um, because you do have bricks. There's like, uh, clay brick making. Yeah. And I think the bricks you make, if I recall, are red <laughs> anyway. Like, you end up making red bricks, so it just looked like actual buildings. Just like you could make a, a, a city. You're probably missing some of the decorative elements of architecture that you would have in those instances, but maybe you fake it. I don't know. Something to think about. It might be fun to make a little, little town grow out of this uh, homestead farm. All right, how are we doing? The vet is cooking away. We are on day 11. One more day to go. I love it. We are... Getting closer and closer to some rough wine. We'll have rough wine by spring. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to pause there because we're going to clear everything. We'll make this a very high priority. And the only thing we want in here is red currant. Oh, it's nice out. Hold on a second. Can I get you to put this away? I cannot. I can't even move it. All right, whatever. Whatever. All right, let's take you off of uh, research for the day, even though that's enraging that you're only that far along. And uh, what are we going to put you on? Let's put you on harvesting, if we can go get some harvest. Let's see if there's anything else that can be harvested today on this nice, sort of nice day. 39 degrees outside. It's been uh, really cold, so that's actually... Uh, that would feel lovely if you were living in the middle of this. First day above negative temperatures outside. We're just taking a look for dead animals, which I see none of. We probably won't see those again. Um, and anything worth harvesting. And there is nothing. You know, why don't we do this? Why don't we also have him uh, grab... Um, we'll have somebody grab all this clay. We might make use of that. You know, like I was saying, maybe we'll make a, uh, a little town. Uh, maybe we do just leave you... It's eight hours, you know what, it's nice out, it's eight hours. Oh, let's try to make some of the things we're gonna need to, uh, go upstairs, let's do that. I found I like to do these, uh, staircases outside so they don't take up valuable room inside. I mean, they just have to... Even if it's in the middle of winter, they end up running out in and outside all the time anyway, so... Uh, they can run outside to... Go upstairs real quick to go back into the warmth. Just fine by me. Uh, Yvette, let's take you off of construction. Make sure you stay cooking. Hopefully Wilhelm will, uh, as soon as he's done with whatever research he's working on, will start um, constructing. I'd like to see him do that. There, right, he's deconstructing. Perfect. I'd like to see him do that before I commit to ripping this roof off. We're just making another gate there in case they can't get through that gate. Uh, you know what? Let's also... We'll probably end up making a farm out this way in the summertime, so let's take down some of these trees. Because this will be our farmland. You know, we'll go a little further. Hopefully the kid runs up and starts cutting. Oh, settlers are becoming annoyed, Henrik. 
Yeah, we'll get you on something. This is what we're doing. We're building the staircase so you can go upstairs. We'll probably have them do carpentry. Like I said, I was looking at their clothing. I was going to have them do tailoring, but their clothing's all fine. I mean, it's winter clothes, but whatever. It'll be fine. Um, We'll have him uh, work on... Oh, nice. That was fast. I think we could do it, but we're going to commit. We're committing. Get those down so I can lay down a floor plan. Thank you very much, sir. All right. First and foremost, we need... Uh, we'll do that so we don't lose anything. Ah, uh, these, um... These, like, fake walls, it's kind of hard to see here. But, like, these angled roofs give these, like, fake... Like, one pixel wide walls. And, uh, if you put any, like, kind of... Uh workbench or anything like that, like if you make any kind of, like, clothing or weapons, sometimes they'll drop them inside the wall and then you can't get them anymore. So I like to put a real wall up anytime I'm butting up against these, which I like to do. Um, all right. Beautiful. And the very last thing we need is a roof. Which this time will be an actual... There we go. There, nice. It follows the little line, sort of. A little loosely. It's orange right now because they can't reach it, uh, but they will be able to in a second. And that was everything we need in there for now. I don't want them focusing on anything other than getting it done, so... That should be fine. Let's put them both on construction. Both the mother and father we will put on construction. Wilhelm and Yvette, have at it! And this kid... Are you still mining? Oh, well, you are. All right, well, let's switch you to cut plants, because I don't want us, uh... Getting, uh... Where are you? Mining and cut plants. We'll put mining down to two. So when he finishes that clump of earth, he will go mine all of these trees that we have designated to, uh... Get rid of. And there he goes. And look at them running away. Look at that family humming away. I love it. And what we'll end up doing when there's time and weather permits and all that, we'll tear down this roof as well. Do the same thing we've done here, and then we'll follow with a uh, mirror image of what we've done over there. So we'll have this big, giant farmhouse, and that big, giant farmhouse can grow forward and backward as it needs to. Um, and I think I mentioned in the last episode, I like to have them uh, all in one compound in the very beginning, at least. Uh, over time, it makes sense to start splitting up you know, have an actual brewery that's a separate building where all the supplies are. Have actual, like, bunkhouses or whatever. And we'll see as we go what makes the most sense. Alright guys, let's get those floors done. There you go. Oh, they might just make it. Oh, our food reserves are low. What? One meal. Alright, we got lots of fermenting stuff. So we might fix, uh... We'll let that continue. And we're going to put this on pause for now so she works on other food. And hopefully these are still going. Yes, they are. Producing raw meat forever. Producing cooked meat forever. And get the dog out of the way. <laughs> producing animal feed. Alright, we'll see if she ends up having enough resources. We'll find out. Hey, get out of there, fox! Oh, he God damn it. Oh, we don't have raw meat either. Ooh, that's dangerous. Yeah, we're actually, um... That's a little dangerous. We may have to allow some, uh... Oh, seven red current. Yeah, we, we might be in some trouble here. <laughs> Alright, well, we, hey, we've got booze. <laughs> two days, two days, two days. Dogs just always everywhere. All right, we might send somebody to go hunt. Who's good at hunting, anyway? Oh, we can't. We don't have any... We don't have bows. All right, well, hey, that's what we're going to make, then. Carpentry. Done. We knew we were going to do it anyway. We might have a family coming in starving by, uh... And there's the snow. I was going to say, if there's any possibility of finding... Um... Mushrooms, but... Doesn't look like it. We might allow her... 
to use red current just for now. I gotta remember to take this off, but we're gonna let her use that because we only got nine and things can get really dicey. <laughs> Family's gonna need food. We can get to that before. Before everything goes sideways. Alright, excellent. Our supplies are closed in. I guess those didn't really need to be, but they are, so that's fine. Uh, hopefully you will harvest this stuff, please, please, please. Thank you. Good. And then a vet is hauling to some stockpile. A vet, get to cooking. <laughs> we'll see what she does after she hauls that. We'll just... Getting resources. Beautiful. All right, it looks like we did indeed get the stuff harvested. Uh, I didn't notice if anybody hauled it. Hopefully they did. Uh, let's get Wilhelm back onto research. Having to do a little bit of micromanaging because uh, he is just ever so slow on all this stuff. And what we really need now is um, wooden weaponry. Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah. We're going to need wooden weaponry, which means I need 20. 20. Maybe we throw a second research bench up here for now and let them double up the research. Well, it's a little late at night. We won't start it right now, but in the morning, perhaps. He is in a library, right? I'm not getting the sleep buffs. Yeah, he's in a library. There is no bedroom. There's a bedroom. No bedrooms. We got to get that workbench out of there if we would like that to be a bedroom. What do bedrooms give us? Uh, peace and quiet of their own quarters. Wait, what shared bedroom? That's what I'm looking for. A small positive mood modifier would be gained if I could turn that into a shared bedroom, which we will soon enough. Let me turn that off. All right, Wilhelm, you keep going into the night. Did we get any more food? We came close to it. Oh, boy. If anything happened, like if we got attacked by like a random attack, if that's a possibility... Uh, we would be in a lot of trouble, because we have no weapons to speak of whatsoever. What new furniture can I make? A weapon rack that I don't need, and I can make a sewing station, which we're not going to do yet. I'm not going to waste the the uh, resources. We're going to put a weapon rack in here so we can start hunting, especially with the spring coming. I don't know if the animal population will flux with seasons the way it might in real life, but I will um, plan as if it does intend to. All right, what we might do, it's the last day of winter. We might make a temporary research table and double up our research. And then the kid also, I think he's excited about doing some research. Um, we will give him uh, one bookshelf as well for now. Uh, I don't even want to fuck with the bookshelf. They can put the books downstairs. This will eventually become the workshop and we'll put the beds somewhere else. I think, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this should be a kitchen eventually. Like, this whole thing should become a kitchen. Maybe the workshop will go over here. The The library will go over here. The tailoring and woodworking and all that stuff this way. I'd probably build, like, three segments. And I, I, like I said, hopefully that starts to make visual sense. We'll build out that way. But, all right. We're going to start with the temporary research bench. And he can drop the books on the floor. And eventually he can bring them down here. These These bookshelves are more than empty. Uh, and we will put Henrik. Does he enjoy himself some research? No, a vet does. Ooh, boo. But he's good at it, so he's going to get up there. He can be on uh, Animal Husbandry. Yes, first, we want, you to, we want you to tame that dog of yours. Train that dog of yours. Henrik is getting resources for construction. Oh, for the bench, idiot. <laughs> You know what we can do? I can get prepared. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. What we can do is I can get prepared for this eventually being a uh, weaponsmith of some type. Uh, yeah. One, two. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Stop that. Stop that. Stop. I want that to be doors. So we don't want to do that. We want to do this. In there. Beautiful. That's what I want you to do. 
And this will eventually be a uh, weaponsmith of some type. Not a blacksmith, just wooden weapons, but that's fine. It'll give us uh, clubs and such. Oh, the last day of winter and it stops snowing. I'm so happy to see that. Henrik is enjoying a little bit of entertainment before he starts researching. He is still not able to do something he's passionate about. Quite a bummer. I feel bad for you, kid. Oh, look at all of that. Oh, we need that. We want all of that stuff. I may just, um, as well, set, uh, I mean, I'm a little app. I was going to say I'll start setting out some crops, but I'm a little apprehensive they may actually start doing it in a, like, it's, there'll be like a freak snow on the last day of winter. Henrik, did I not take you off of research? I thought I did. I did now. There you go. Go harvest. Henrik's finally off of research. He will begin harvesting. We're going to find some more stuff for him to harvest out here. Don't want to get too far away from the house, but it's early in the morning. Event Notley, you go researching. All right, she's cooking. That's fine. How much? How many meals do we have? None. You get to cooking. Let's see how our booze is doing, though. One day, so two days about. A little over one day, and they'll start being able to have something to drink. Holy shit, Wilhelm, would you knock it off? What are you doing? Oh my god, I just... I just put him to deconstruct, not to use. I forgot the set that he needs to actually make. You have to set the research bench to be used. Like what you actually want them to do with it before they'll do it. So I just literally made him deconstruct it. <laughs> Alright, we got two meals downstairs finally. Yay. Wilhelm's making that. We're going to hang with him for just a second. Make sure those are getting harvested. Make sure that's getting harvested. High speed, hanging with him. Don't go anywhere, Wilhelm. Don't go anywhere. We got a job for you. This is what I forgot to do. So when I right-clicked on the bench, it just did, it was to uninstall it. Uh, until we have 20. You work up there. Yvette, dear God, what are you doing? You can cook, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Just getting that red current. Oh, I'm glad I put those there. Oh my god, our shelves are practically bare. Oh boy. Alright. Not bad. Last day of winter. The family has come through. We made it. We didn't lose our clothes. We didn't get attacked, which you can do. Uh, I do believe you can just get randomly attacked, I think. We'll see if that ever happens, but... I know for a fact that like if you take in... Uh, settlers who show up at the edge of your property. Uh, sometimes, most times, the, uh, there'll be people who are unhappy with that and will come attack you. Um, but I believe you can also just get randomly attacked. I am here just patrolling the edge of the map looking for other harvestables. Henrik is hauling. Yvette is finally riding. Alright, we're all riding. This is good. This is good. Coming along. 10. We got 10 more to go. I just want to get... I, we have to be able to start hunting because I don't want to be using red currant for food. And right now it's the only thing we have enough of a stockpile of to eat. There will be more growing in spring and we're going to absolutely take advantage of that. Uh, but it would have been nice um, to be able instead to um, uh, use some of the red currant to plant and some of the rest of it to ferment. Uh, we will have to just wait until we can harvest more in the wild, it seems, perhaps. How many meals do we have? We have two meals. She's busy writing. I'm not going to stop her. They're fine. They're fine. Where's the kid? Harvesting? Good. Good, good, good. You're on Harvest and Hall? I love it. Where's the farm? There it is. Research available. Beautiful. Hopefully it's the right research. It is not. It's close. Decorative structures, which we're not interested in yet. Some of these will help us make uh, better buffs. The decorative structures include, yeah, wall tool shelf. If you put that in with your carpentry bench, uh, you'll get a buff to your carpentry, I believe. It's like putting the bookshelves in the in the uh, library turns it into a library. Bookshelves and a work and a research table turns it into a library. Vet, yes, cook a vet. That's good. I like to see it. Stop dropping it on the floor. Let me guess, Henrik. Oh no, Wilhelm. What's his problem? Oh boy, he's hungry, he's thirsty, he's lacking religious activities. He's got ugly clothes. He's going to have ugly clothes for a long, long time. 
Oh my god, we're almost closing out the last day of winter. I love it. Look at you guys. You made it. Good shit, Yvette. Henrik is becoming annoyed. I know. Well, you're gonna go to sleep soon. You'll probably have booze to drink tomorrow. More research is available. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Where are we at with this? Tomorrow? One day, nine hours. One day, 21 hours. All right, so the following day. By nighttime tomorrow, you should be fine. And let's see, research. Wooden weaponry. Boom. Unlock. Done. Now what we're gonna do, even though it's gonna, we're gonna lose that halfway researched, uh, uh, book we're working on there. We're gonna get a vet off of research. Keep her on cooking. And we're gonna get this sun up on carpentry. And down on harvesting. So he can handle animal husbandry first when he wakes up and then he'll work on carpentry. And then mining and cutting plants if he needs to. Hauling and stewarding always, all of them. We're about to be in spring. It's gonna be first day of spring tomorrow. We're gonna start farming. Oh, if the father gets this done, we'll have a project first thing tomorrow morning. I love it. A bowyer's table. Yes, we'll start with bows for sure. We'll keep it to weapons for now. To, to bows for now. And I think what we'll need is one type. You must have one type of workbench and two wood shelves. It does not say you can't have two types of, of workbenches, so maybe we'll try that out and see what happens. How much research do I have, and how close am I to decorative structures? It might be nice to get that and go ahead and get our, our workbenches going. But since there won't be any buffs right now, why don't we go ahead and toss a woodworking bench in here? Wilhelm's going to be writing, we got to get 10? 15. All right, we need 15. And we'll set the kid to uh, working on bows tomorrow. And once we got three bows, we'll set him to work on both, and he can just kind of do whatever he wants. First day of spring has arrived, and this will be the day when Henrik finally can do something he's passionate about. Poor little kid. Oh, we didn't get any kind of pop-up. I figured there'd be like, first day of spring has arrived. Mother should wake up and start harvesting right away. So hopefully that happens. So who's becoming annoyed? Yeah, that's right. Get lost with that. When we get this all harvested up, which, wow, that uh, overnight. Jeez. Um, when we get this all harvested up, we will grow out this way. Move our, sto our outdoor storage under here. And we'll probably move the um, either research or maybe beds. Research doesn't need a ton of room, so maybe we'll move the bedroom in here. Because then if we do end up ever getting other people, we can take them uh, in a larger bedroom. And maybe be able to expand the bedroom backwards. And this can eventually become the kitchen. It's going to be a ways to go before we get to the kitchen. We got a lot of research to do. Where is everybody? Getting research, getting resources for construction so we can start building our benches. That's good. The mother is harvesting the farthest resources away. Awesome! Spring has arrived in Woodhurst. As the sun warmed the sleeping ground, vegetation began to grow. It was the perfect time to sow crops for the coming year. What does that say? Moderate temperature, rain and fog are frequent. Small chance of hailstorms. All right. Spring is here. And oh boy, are you going to the farthest away place to harvest one little bush. <laughs> and we do indeed have fog right to start. Now we're going to keep our eye on uh, naturally growing harvestables. Uh, this is also a great opportunity to, um, to, uh, mark dead trees, because you can see them now. They're hard to see in the wintertime, because nothing has leaves. And being sure to prune dead trees mainly means I'll always have wood, and I don't have to clear-cut anything. Now I can kind of rapid-fire go through here, picking out dead trees, and I already hear cutting happening, which is good. All right, okay, yeah, we can make a cudgel, we can make a spear, or we can dismantle, uh, gear. Awesome. Well, the first and foremost thing we are gonna make, until we have... six. What are the resources? 20 wood! Jeez Louise! All right, well, there's plenty of wood out here, so get at it. Uh, who's on this? 
The sun, right? I definitely put him to carpentry. Weapons out of wood. Woodworking bench and bowyer's table. You are passionate about it, and you have a decent skill set that you're going to learn very quickly because you're very passionate about it. So Henrik is about to have some good times. And oh my goodness, do we have booze yet? Fermenting juice pile. 15 hours, 12 hours, 10 hours. Oh, that's right. I said tonight. It'll be ready by tonight. You guys can celebrate all your hard winter's work with some booze tonight. We have currant pie and roasted meat. We are fine for now. Uh, we're going to have... We're going to have bows in a minute so we can start hunting. I'm going to take the current out of this because I do not want them using it for anything other than... I don't want them using it for anything other than uh, farming uh, and fermentation. And uh, let's get at that uh, farming, right? Uh, where's the kid? What is he doing? He's getting resources. Oh, for the bench. Awesome. Good job, kid. Maybe, just maybe, I want to move the bedroom in here first before we do anything else. I might do that. Once that's all built, we can move the bedroom underneath. The kid is working feverishly on making bows. Do we have any bows yet? Did you finish any? Not yet. Nothing yet. That's fine. Because the other thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to build a gigantic farm out this way that hopefully will expand as the... The farmhouse expands, so sh so too shall a gigantor farm. Oh. But we'll need people for that farm, so it's not going to start out that big. It'll it'll grow big eventually, but not at the outset. Man, the animals are getting close. Gotta get them bows. There is one bow. Equip this short bow that is sturdy. I love it. Go get that, Wilhelm. Beautiful. We're going to put you up on hunting. And we're going to check out these animals and see uh, who can be hunted. Let's uh, get it on the lowest retaliate score for sure. And we'll take the uh, mature animals that are going to be more difficult to tame if we ever decide we want to. Can someone tame this dog? Can you, can you train your dog, please? <laughs> what is a vet about to do? She's enjoying entertainment with her husband right now, and that's just fine. Finally, some warmth backgammon. And turn these off. Save these for the winter. 56 degrees outside. Ooh, let's check our cellar and make sure it's not too hot. Is that for everything actually fermenting? It is. What's the weather? 46 degrees in here. Hmm. Very interesting. All right. Well, it is what it is. You best be getting resources. You are good. Get that finished today if you can. I'd like to get you guys sleeping in good places. If we can get you a sleeping buff, and we can get away the take away this uh, negative uh, thirst debuff tonight, well then, we're in some good shape. Oh wow! Just as I touched it, it it, it fermented, and there we see it is turned into rough wine, and it will ferment in thirty-one days because it is staying in this room. Um. Eventually, what we'll do is we'll we'll take some rough wine. Once we have tons of wine, we'll take some rough wine and we'll mark it off limits. Like half of our stash will be marked off limits and we'll leave it in here for 31 days. And we'll move the rest of it out and say it's free for all for them. Or maybe leave it in here so if it ferments by accident, it ferments, so be it. But they can have at it with rough wine to get rid of those debuffs, which they're already doing. They're stopping and enjoying some drinks. Is Henrik going to go get a drink? Did he? He's still desperately thirsty. Why don't you go get a drink, kid? <laughs> ah, nice. There's two of them. Beautiful. Yvette, what are you doing? Oh, you're harvesting. Yeah, you keep harvesting. It's fine. Well, we'll you'll cook more tomorrow. We're going to need more people soon. Lots to do. Lots to do in the big woods. Little house in the big wood. That's us. Henrik, you are doing a fantastic job, though. It would be nice if you would put these things away, like... After you work on them, that'd be a nice, like, little skip in the priority. <laughs> just as soon as one gets done, instead of dropping it on the floor, just like, it's literally right here. You could just pop it up there. <laughs> Whatevs. Once we have enough research, we'll uh, pop off some of these unused anyway uh, weapon racks, and we'll put up a couple of uh, those, those 
tool shelves or whatever they're called, and those uh, will give that room a buff. How hot is it in here? 65? How hot is it outside? 39? We'll leave them with the brazier on. Man, it took you more than all day to not finish this. <laughs> oh, would I love to see some mushrooms. It'd be nice if you could plant mushrooms, like in the basement. That would be fun. Level 12 carpentry, I love it. So we shouldn't see any failures. Beautiful. How do you play backgammon by yourself? <laughs> Alright, I would love it, Wilhelm, if you could just get this done. That'd be fan-freaking-tastic. More rough wine. Look at how happy they all are. Slept in a nice bed. We've got plenty of wine. We're not cooking any yet because a vet is harvesting like a mad woman, but that's good. We're gonna need it. We want to plant, so. It's, uh, it's... It could be a bit of a pickle if we end up needing, uh... If we end up having not enough of a buffer to make more, uh, fermenting stockpile or whatever, fermenting pile of, of fruit. But, we'll see. Oh, it looks like she's back at it. Good, nice, excellent. How's our temperature in here? 46, beautiful. Oh, Wilhelm, did you manage? Yes, you managed something that's too heavy. Oh, that's good. What did you get? A carcass for sure. It's going into the carcass pile, which we just love to see. Oh, look at that. All right, hold on, a vet. <laughs> Where are you going? She's gonna go pray, that's fine. Wilhelm's gonna go drink. That is also fine. Dang, how many days do I got to, to get that taken care of? 13 days? Yeah, we're fine. Uh, we can use smoked meat in the food, right? Yes, we can. Alright, so we're gonna smoke that meat. Then we're gonna turn it into food. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Good job, Wilhelm. And you're getting resources for construction? I love it. Look at everybody, just going nuts. The... Friggin' deers are eating our current, annoying me. All right, well, Henrik, while refueling is very important, and I want you to continue it for right now, we're gonna get you to haul immediately after that. Actually, you probably will haul immediately after that. Yeah, you'll haul. Get, just get the, oh God, the animals are eating it all. <sighs> get away from there, we're too busy. Oh, our hats all... <laughs> our hats all disappeared at the same exact time, too. Nice. Well, perfect timing. We'll have to have more hats for summer, but we are going to, without a doubt, make another uh, crafting area. All right, I think tomorrow, if we can get these uh, floor tiles done, we'll have... Uh, what the hell? That is not allowed on here. No food was... Oh, it was, it was harvested over here. That's fine. If we can get all of this, uh, these floor tiles done, we'll move all this outdoor crap over here, and we'll turn this into a bedroom. What's the mother doing? Chopping down trees? That's fine. You're good at it. Aren't you passionate about it, too? You are. Look at that. You're probably happy. You're kind- yeah, two times job satisfaction. Look at you. It looks like we might have a new bedroom by tomorrow. Maybe by tonight. We shall see. We'll see. A vet is harvesting. Henrik is hauling. They've all got weapons. We'll need some more research getting done shortly so that we can do some tailoring. We got a little bit of ways to go before we can do that. We'd like to get decorative structures and we'd like to... Oh, we do have tailoring. I forgot we had that already. That's fine. Oh, nice. A new settler. A safe haven. You sighted a pale halting figure near the perimeter of Woodhurst. As he approached, it became clear that Nicholas had been bleeding from a deep gash and needed to rest. It was for honor, Nicholas gasped. Would you grant them respite? We get, uh, no negative effects. Oh, interesting. I think he's just a free settler. Nothing bad happens. We just get Nicholas Becker, who's good at mining, melee, marksman, and animal handling. We get to see his animal handling skills. That's cool. Maybe we'll train our... I don't know what those perks are supposed to mean. I don't know what that is. Looks like a bruise. Um, awesome, so we just get a new settler. 
who is Nicholas Becker. Perfect timing, we're working on a new bedroom. All right, Nicholas Be Becker, you're bleeding. You're welcome to join us. Are you gonna fall over? No, you're fine. We'll set you to convalesce for now. And that's what you'll do. And hopefully someone will, uh, don't pass out, right? Yeah, you're fine. You're fine, hopefully he makes it. <laughs> that's not ugly apparel, my friend. That's some nice apparel you got there. Nicer than we got. Who is on tending? Young Henrik? Young Henrik, why don't you stop what you're doing and tend to our... Our guest's wounds. Our new friend. Addition to the settlement. Awesome. We just got a free, uh, a freebie. Oh, mushrooms too. We got mushrooms. Look at that. Any more? Can I see more? I'd like to see more mushrooms, please. Close mushrooms. Oh, Wilhelm, we're so close. I need you to just build the things I told you to build. <laughs> All right, Nicholas, let's see what you're actually good at. What are your skills? That's the worst way to see it. Uh, you're really good at animal handling. You're pretty good at uh, marksmanship. You're also passionate at both of those. You're good at melee and you're good at mining. All right, that's a good addition. We can get some of those uh, skills off of, off of Henrik. Some of those jobs off of Henrik. All right, now Wilhelm can go to sleep if he wants to. And now we don't need weird schedules, so... We will, uh... Nicholas is convalescing, that's fine. We're just gonna give him the same schedule for now. Oh, what are his, uh... What are his perks? He has a washout. If there's rain, he's gonna be unhappy about it. Uh, getting wet makes him miserable. He's a cannibal?! What?! What?! Did I even- was that a, did I get to see that when we said we were gonna take him in? Oh boy, what happens with that now? What do we do? Do we have to banish him? <laughs> what do I even do with that? He's a cannibal. A merciless butcher and devourer of men. He is fortified by human flesh. Well, you're not getting any human flesh here. If we find you eating human flesh, Nicholas, Nicholas spends most of his time with his own thoughts. The rest of us are not invited. All right, well, Interesting. Nicholas is a little oddball that we added to our... <laughs> but he's a weird little loner that joined our family. I guess we were just kind enough to not turn him away with his with his deep wound and his needs, but that's going to be very interesting. Uh, oh, the floor is done. Let's, uh, you can keep playing while I do that. The floor is done. Let's get a floor in here. And uh, when they wake up, we're going to move the beds in here. So then we'll have a bedroom as well. What the fuck? Nicholas, did you just get up to sleep on the floor? What? What the hell? Nicholas, get up. What? Why did you do that? That was so weird. He got up and then just slept on the floor. He wasn't even convalescing, he was sleeping. Oh good, he's the same religious alignment. I really didn't look into him too much, but luckily, he is the same religious alignment as us. He is the loyal hunter. We'll take a minute to look at Nicholas. Forgot to do that when he came in. It gets a little confusing. There's a lot of little pieces you gotta check on. They're all in different spots, but he's got his whole story, so let's see what it is. Nicholas, the loyal hunter. They said in pen e word I don't know, that Nicholas was born with a bow in his hand. In the warmer months, Nicholas would hunt wolves uh, with his tongue lolling and eyes bright as he loped through the forest, lithe, invisible, and poised to strike. When the world changed, Nicholas pledged fealty to King Edmund, who was ordained to rule and bring England back into harmony and balance. Nicholas would gladly put anyone who disagreed with him to the sword. Death would be swift and merciful. He is the cuckold of Penigward. It was well known that Nicholas's spouse was unfaithful, and Nicholas didn't seem willing or able to do anything about it. Really weird, he's a hunter who would put anyone to the sword, uh, and is a cannibal. All right, whatever. Once a beaten, unwanted child, Nicholas was perfectly content to gather up whatever crumbs of affection he could salvage. Very interesting. Gives him plus to carpentry. Doesn't really fit his personality overall. He's 36, and we already know he's a cannibal. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. He's still convalescing. He's got a deep uh, leg laceration, and he's large. But he ate raw meat. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> Don't be eating my raw meat. I can't have this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Well, whatever. Get lost, pal. All right, everybody, get up. Wilhelm, get the hell up. What are you doing? And how are we doing on booze? Oh, we've got so much booze a-brewing. 
All right, we'll take uh, one of these. We'll take this one. We'll mark that one single one off limits. For now. And we'll let that sit to ferment for 28 days. Nicholas, you are really convalescing it up, aren't you? All right. I guess if that's what's got to happen. Oh, nice. The family gathers around for some entertainment. Oh, Nicholas is going to need a space to uh, eat at the family table. How do I want to handle that? Hmm. You know what? We'll just give him a bench for now. Awesome. Wilhelm is back to writing. Beautiful. Yvette, do it, taking care of the construction. I love it. And let's uh, let's see if we can plant some crops. Oh, please, red currant. That's all I want to plant right now. Food reserves are low. We got somebody who should be a hunting. He hasn't hunted much yet, just a little bit. Hopefully, he'll do some more hunting. There's plenty for you to hunt, my friend. I don't know if he'll only hunt once a day. But oh, look at that! They're all sitting down for a drink. The whole family. Nicholas the Odd Outsider, the Cannibal Outsider. I wonder if we know that. Does the family know that? I feel like they mustn't. Oh, we are ever so close to the next thing that we are ready to get. Which I guess is going to be decorative structures. I also might just get clay brick making. Maybe we start in on, on that dream of making a uh, pioneer city. Make some uh, clay two-story, three-story tall buildings. Make a little caravan stop? I don't know. Could be cool. But we do, we really have to get in on friggin' uh, planting. My god. Alright, what do we got for research? Alright, nothing on clay brick making yet. That's gonna take 20, but I do want these decorative structures because I can now get a buff to this room. Everybody's got a hat on. Nice! And we got a workshop. Beautiful. Now that'll move a little faster. I love it. Oh, we are gonna need more red current. I would love to see hundreds and hundreds of red current. I suppose we can start planting trees. We're gonna need those eventually, too. Oh, he did manage to- oh, look at that! Look at that! Sowing our fields. What little we have. We'll get some more. It'll happen. We've got to get, a. Uh, our friend Nicholas here is much more high on harvesting now, yes? Yeah, you'll be there. Two for harvesting. Hopefully that means you harvest when you're done taming. I hope you better. Stop pouring in on everybody else's jobs. All right. I think that's a good spot to leave it. It is uh, a little more than halfway through spring, but we are coming into spring nicely. Uh, I wish we had a little bit more farming going, but with our new arrival, the cannibal Nicholas, if we send him out far away from the homestead to harvest some more red currant for us, we should be able to get that production into full swing uh, pretty swiftly. It seems like we are going to have a bountiful spring and fall, but we will find out if we do in the next episode. So subscribe for more Going Medieval, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.